Legendary rock and roll photographer Henry Diltz looks back at some of his favorite album covers. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. In this clip, we talk about James Taylor, Crosby, Stills, Nash, the Eagles, and a lot more with the legendary Henry Diltz. James Taylor, um, yeah. what was he like filming? Peter Asher called me on the phone. As they say, many of these, all these pictures start with a phone call. Yeah. You know, Peter Asher says, Henry, can you come down here like today or tomorrow, whatever it was, and photograph this guy, James Taylor, and doing his album. I went down to his house. James was sitting on the floor playing his guitar. He was finger picking Oh Susanna, which blew my mind. And I got down on my knees and wow, and I took a few pictures. Then I said, we need to go out somewhere. And we went to a friend's place where there were little sheds and barns and backdrops, you know, that we could shoot. And he, we barely talked the whole time. I mean, I, I was busy just, you know, taking these documentary po photos, but he was leaning against the wall and then he leaned on a big post with his arms like this. And, and I could frame that up so perfectly. It looked great. I remember saying, wait, don't move, James. Let me get my color cut. Because I was supposed to take publicity photos. Right. Which meant black and white, because newspapers couldn't run color. Right. So black and white. And then I said, you know, that looks so good. I want to get a color shot for my slideshow to show my friends. So I said, don't move. I got my color camera and took a picture. And when they saw it, they used that for the album cover. So that was an accidental album cover. But he hardly talked. He's quiet, though. He is a quiet guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he is a quiet guy. I mean, now, now, now we can talk about it, but, but, but then, I mean, yeah, we didn't, <laughs> you know. Of all the album covers, are, are, is there something that, that, that stands out, whether it's because of the picture or the, how, Henry, you took the picture or the experience? Is something that stands out? Well, all of them, really. I mean, the Eagles, you know, that's, although it's just them standing there, though. Whole, and, the, and the back of, of it is a, a posse shot with the eagles laying dead in the street and the posse standing there posing with their – like they used to do way back. And we, we posed that from a book of, of actual outlaw photos, you know. Um, seeing Jimmy Webb's album cover up in the glider, I think, oh, yeah, there was that. You know, CSN on the couch. That one, probably one of my favorites because it just feels – Because the good. house disappeared? Because <laughs> And now we went back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, that as well. We were we were taking publicity photos. No one said we're doing an album cover. They said, we don't have any pictures. We got to get a shot of the three of us. So Gary and I and the three guys drove around West Hollywood, stopping here and there to take photos. We found the old house. Um, but Gary, I guess he knew in his mind, you know, maybe we'd get a cover because he said, make sure you shoot color. Right. And so I shot color. But, but then when we looked at it later, we said, this will make a great cover, but we're in the wrong order. We've called now since you took the photo a couple days ago, we've decided on Crosby, Sills and Nash and we're Nash, Sills and Crosby in there. And I said, let's just go back. No problem. Jump on the couch. Bang, bang, bang. Five minutes. We got it. And we all got in the car and drove back and the house was gone. So it was, you know, a, a bulldozer had pushed it all to the back of the lot, and it's now a parking lot. Right. It was right about when Joni had her song, Paved Paradise, put up put a, a parking, parking lot. lot. And that's, uh, you know. Yeah. That, <laughs> what happened? We'll have more from Henry Diltz coming up next week. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can buy some of his prints. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t-shirt. Help support the channel. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.